Well, hello, folks. How are y'all doing? Let's talk. Let's talk about wonderful recreations with some wonderful leftovers. <laughs> Mama has made, look here, I want to show you my bow. Mama has made wonderful beef uh, stew. What is this? What was this, Mama? Beef stew? Mm -hmm. I get confused sometimes with soup and stew. Pot roast. Pot roast. It's, a, it's my beef roast. I just took part of it and the broth left and made beef This is stew. Sunday's lunch. Somebody said uh, Sunday it was nice that we had a roast. Well, we buy our roast usually on sale and we'll eat it three or four days. We like to make the best of it. And this is day four and I've ate it for lunch twice. <laughs> and Mama's eating it for lunch. And so this is what's left of it and we are made. Is there more of it, Mama? There's a little more meat I didn't put in here. You know what I'm thinking I might do with them tomorrow? If I do, I'll show y'all. I'm thinking about making some uh, beef fajitas. Well, they're not a lot, but it'd be enough to Just for get. fajita, you mm -hmm. know. Y'all ever make just fajitas for a quick lunch, snack? Welcome to Coffee Time with John and Mama. We are so glad to have y'all here. Let's see, there you all are. Hello, Pam and Patrick. Rebecca Allen, how are you? And Craig. Um... We've already blessed our food and letting it cool. And I said, Mama, you want to go live? And she said, why, yeah. So she said, am I dressed up? Okay? I said, well, you look beautiful. Mama, what are you wearing? I didn't even look because I always know you look good. Well, this is a, another snowman shirt. Oh, Just let it bit. snow. Mama, are you wanting snow? Well, I want Mama's to feel a, like Mama's Christmas. a strange bird. Mama likes warm weather, but she loves a good snow. At Christmas time, I love for it to snow. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, anymore it don't bother me as much. You can, people work from home. But you know, when you're, I remember my dad. I'd be wishing for snow, and he'd say, Shh, "We don't need no snow." He had to drive. Right? I can't, but I had to get up every morning and drive. He was in, he was seventy miles from here at work a lot of times at six o'clock in the morning. So he was dreading that snowy ride. <laughs> and as an adult, I realized it. But as a child, I was saying, "Why don't Daddy like snow?" <laughs> Ain't it crazy? Oh, hello, Miss Linda. How are you? Hello from Alabama. Linda, my mama was born in Alabama. Mama's mama. In Decatur, Alabama. In Decatur, Alabama. Well, she talked like Alabama. And my great-grandma really did. Was she in from Decatur also? No, I don't know where her real birthplace was, but mommy was born in Decatur. Well, mama, you've done an excellent job on this beast. Mama, tell us how you made it, because people will be asking. Oh, I just used my meat, some of my meat it left, and some of my broth off of my roast. Mm -hmm. And I just cut up a few potatoes, about four or five, and uh, some, I used baby carrots this time instead of peeling and cutting up the big ones. They're good in this. Mm -hmm. And I used uh, an onion. Salt Simple and pepper. Folks, salt and pepper, and she did on top of the stove. She didn't put it in a crock pot. Yeah. And of course, this is homemade cornbread right here. When y'all have seen this, make that a hundred times. You like cornbread with your beef stew. I love cornbread anytime, but I love it with beef stew. And we like our beef stew. What's the word, Mama? Thin. Thin and not thick. You don't like. You don't want no cornstarch in the broth. No, you I want it just. I like it. I like it Natural good. Juices. Natural juices. I don't like it thickened. A lot of people like to thicken it. I always thicken mine until you start fussing about it. Mom, well, I don't never fuss. Anyhow, that's why I like I like it thin. I like chili. I don't like it too thick. I like it just right. But we just wanted to pop on here right quick and say, Happy Christmas Eve, Eve, Eve. It's three sleeps to Christmas. Three sleeps. <laughs> I asked a little boy at church one time. He was asking me, he said, How many days to Christmas? I said, It was... Two or three days. I said, it's three days. He goes, is that three sleeps? And I said, yes, <laughs> it's three sleeps. And I always like to think about things in sleeps now. He's the same little boy at church that told me one time <laughs> that I was old. And I said, well, just how old do you think I am? And he said, oh, my gosh, you are, like, really old. And I said, <laughs> how old do you think I am? He said, I bet you're 10. And I said, <laughs> I thought that was so cute. Okay. Hey, Susan. How are you from North Carolina? We love North Carolina. We've had a lot of North Carolina folks on here. Hey, Paul Johnson. How are you? Uh, Black Eyed Fried Okra. Oh, Okra. We love fried okra. okra. Mama don't like bulled okra too good. Oh. My step-grandfather 
eat fried okra, I mean boiled okra. Mm -hmm. And I said, when I was a little kid, I'd never, ever eat okra. Someone asked me today, one of our uh, friends said, did we like, uh, did we ever pickle green beans or okra? And you know, I love it. Mama yeah. don't care for it. No. So anything Mama don't care for, we we don't do much. But I don't care. <laughs> I would like to pickle some. Um, a friend of mine I used to work with, she pickles wonderful okra, and she, and uh, she used to bring it. Her and green beans, beans are good, too. Good. And uh, she'd bring me a jar because she knew Mama wasn't going to be doing that. But anyway, we like it. So what have y'all been into today? Is everybody about wrapped up with Christmas? I mean, you know. We did hang some greenery last night, but other than that, we've been pretty well done with it for, well, since the weekend. Mama's been done with it, but you, are you still messing with it during the day? No, I'm not doing nothing. Are you sitting it. around enjoying your trees now? I reckon so. That's what it's all about, Mama. Mm -hmm. um, Mama's going to start making candy. Are you going to start tomorrow? If these old bones will get to work in there. <laughs> What are you going to make, Mama? Granny fudge. i got to make granny fudge if I don't make nothing else. And chocolate fudge. You love it. So you'll make the Cocoa Hershey, bo Hershey Box fudge. I don't know if I'll make the Hershey. You ain't going to make it, Mama? You'll make it. I don't it ain't Christmas without chocolate fudge. I know it, but I want to eat it. Well, you can eat some of it. You just can't eat a lot of it. Um, I think I'm going to do... Red cinnamon apples with red cinnamon imperials. So if you're out shopping and you find some cinnamon imperials, we couldn't find them one year, and some of y'all sent us some. Um, some we got some, I think, y'all sent us just a real, little red hot candies. And that's all really you need, a little bit of sugar and a little bit of red hot candies and, then, and some apples. And so we're going to make that in the next day or two. I'll probably make those uh, Thursday or Friday because you want to let them sit because you want them to get red all the way through, and they're beautiful on your Christmas table. And then we're just going to have uh, ham, and we're going to do a turkey breast. I'm going to make dressing, so I will. we will do a video on dressing, Lord willing. Uh, and we'll make the cornbread and the pone bread out of the biscuit bread. And we'll have mashed potatoes and green beans. And uh, my aunt's coming, and she's going to do broccoli casserole and sweet potato casserole. She'll bring it already done, though. And uh, Mama, what else are you going to do? What else you want to make? We're going to make coleslaw. Coleslaw, yeah. We'll, we'll go over our menu. we got to get our menu together and get to the grocery store. we got to go to the big store. You know, holidays require a trip to the big store. So you can get all the extra little things, you know, that you need. And uh, we'll be doing that. Might make some kind of cranberry something something. Uh, we make one in a mold and we make one not in a mold. And I think we like the one not in the mold the best, don't we? Yeah, maybe. And it's quicker. Uh, the mold's pretty, and you put a little holly on it or something, and it's real pretty, but uh, we really like the other better. Hello, Carol. It says, I have been able to find... So I'm happy to... See. Okay. Hello. Hey, Charlie. How are you? Patty. Hey, Lisa. Um, but we're going to start doing that uh, this week. It's time. It's Christmas. Are y'all excited? Saturday's it. Saturday's Christmas. Can you believe it? Saturday. It's already here. Um, it's hard to believe that this year is coming to an end. Mom and I do plan on doing our early bird special for Christmas for New Year's Eve. We're going to drop the ball at 9 p.m. So we'll do our countdown. We'll come on before that. We'll have some snacks and uh, maybe some recipes of how we did our snacks. And then uh, we will... Um, have if our, we can find our goodies, I ain't been able to find some of them. Yeah, the stores don't have everything that you know, we used to just run and grab. Um, but anyway, we're going to drop the ball, count down and all, at 9 p.m. Because, you know, a lot of people, me included, for years now, I have gone to bed and just trusted them just to drop the ball <laughs> and get the new year in here. And every time I wake up, they've done it. They did a good job. So I... So... We don't set up for New Year's usually, but um, we're going to do it at 9 p.m. So if some of you early birds out there that want to go to bed, and maybe some kids. You know, I told Mama yesterday, we were talking about the New Year's Eve to get together, and I said, you know, when I get, as the older I get, the earlier I want to go to bed. And Mama said, you know, some kids might want to do the New Year's Eve drop too, because they go to bed early, and this way they'll have a chance to celebrate. And I said, that sounds good. 
we'll probably make our punch and uh, so you can make some punch well if i can i'll come out early and i'll give you the recipe and i'll show you what some of the stuff we're going to do so you can make it too ahead of time and we will um we'll probably do our mama what kind of punch you want orange punch or green punch or orange is my favorite orange is mama's favorite so we'll probably do our our, our three ingredient orange punch uh it's just orange um soda of any kind you want um mama what all do you put in it ginger ale no sprite orange soda and I would put pineapple juice, but pineapple one year juice. at church they didn't put it, and they just put the Sprite and the orange soda, two liters of each and one put of those, and ice vanilla cream. ice cream in it, and let it melt some. And it was good. It was really good without the pineapple juice. But so we do put pineapple juice in ours all the time. And one time we put uh, pineapple, orange, something juice, and it was a mixture juice. Yeah. So we'll do that. It's quick and easy, and uh, it's good. It's good. So we'll probably do that. So we'll we'll tell you what we're going to do ahead of time. Maybe y'all can get your stuff together too. We can all uh, party and have the same ingredients. Uh, all of our stuff is kid friendly. We don't do anything not kid friendly. No. And uh, I'm a little kid. I can't have. Mama that. Has, can't have nothing. Um, but we will we'll do that. Mom, this stew is delicious. It's cooled down enough. You can eat some mm. of it now. It's just wonderful. It's as good as the. It's Sunday's lunch was when it was just, you know. But I love cooked potatoes and I love carrots. You know, I don't know why I don't eat healthier. I love cooked cabbage. I love carrots. I love potatoes. I can just sit and eat. You can just boil potatoes, put a little bit of butter on them and a little salt and pepper, and I love them. And uh, carrots the same way. And uh, cabbage. I like all that healthy stuff. I just, mmm. There's just other things I add to it that ain't too healthy. Hello, <laughs> there's a Linda Davis. Linda, we may be connected really? back there somewhere on the family tree. <coughs> <coughs> Merry <coughs> Christmas. Who was that? Is that Michael and Glenda Perkins? Hello, Michael and Glenda. Merry Christmas to you all. I'm not calling out specific people, just whoever I read. <laughs> um, what else was we going to say, Mama? Anything else? You got any good stuff to tell? It's me? left my mind. Oh, one thing we're going to try to start doing. Mama's not really into it yet. She's, but it's new. Uh, Facebook is wanting us to do the reels. You know the the little thirty second things. So we're going to try to do some of those. So if you start seeing me and Mama doing some reels, have patience because we're not used to that kind of stuff. And so we're going to start them. We're going to try one or two. We might start them. I don't know. I don't well, like a lot of them. Mama don't like some of the reels she sees. You know, some of them are different. And she's like, I know. We ain't doing nothing like that. Something. I said, Mama, Facebook sent us a thing. They'd like for us to do some reels. <laughs> and she said, what in the world? We Everything we do is real. Are you kidding me? Everything. We don't do nothing ain't real. I said, not that kind of real, Mama. R-E-E-L. Reels. Like little quick like TikToks. Mama said, no, I ain't doing some of that foolishness on there. It's not only foolish, it's not nice. Some of it is. She don't like all that anything. Mama don't like anything fake. Mama's 100% real. R-E-A-L, real. That's right. <laughs> but folks, that's all we have tonight. Mama, you any good jokes for me? Uh, Yeah, let's see. A lady sent oh, one wow. for you. Did, and you read it? It said for me, for you. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Mama. I'm I ready. I didn't break no rules. Mama don't break rules. Well, okay. I mean, she doesn't cook it, but she if you, if you send something and say, Mama, don't look, she don't look. Uh, where the deers go to get their coffee? Where the deer get their coffee? Where the deers go to get their coffee? Well, deer would be... Bucks, Starbucks. Yes, <laughs> I got that one. Starbucks. I was thinking Bucks, Bucks, Starbucks. Well, look at that, Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. You're smart. Hmm, and I don't always get them. Wow, I can't believe I got one. You got any more, Mama? <laughs> There's nothing, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> and Mama, you did real good telling that one too. I did. I didn't mess it up, did I? No, you didn't. 
It was so short, I couldn't put the punch. Mama out. would usually say something like, why do deers go to Starbucks? No, 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 no. <laughs> why? why? <laughs> Where do they go? Where do they go? <laughs> I get pretty good. She usually gets the punchline involved in it. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Joyce, Jesus is the reason for the season. He certainly is. I told my Sunday school class Sunday, I said, I had mixed class. We had some teachers out. So I had, usually I have youth, uh, but I had the little ones this week and whole several. Anyhow, I said, I want y'all to sing Merry Christmas or a happy birthday to Jesus on Christmas because that's really his his birthday. And they all knew that, but they said they would. They was going to sing Merry Christmas. I said, so when you open your gifts and you're sitting there with your family, one of you all say, let's sing Happy Birthday to Jesus. It's his birthday. And I said, you can start doing that every year. And that way you'll never forget. He's the reason for the season. And he is, it's what we're, what it's all about. So I think they will. I think it'll be nice. Hello, uh, Linda Smith. Merry Christmas to you. Lydia Fox, how are you? Love watching here in the, well, thank you, Miss Lydia. Uh, I, these are going fast tonight. I don't know if they sped them up or what. Maybe my eyes are slower. Anyway, I'm folks. Hard. <laughs> well, I've had a lot of coffee today, Mama. And then um, one of my coworkers uh, went and got some um, hot chocolate and some miniature marshmallows at her lunch. And we had us a little hot chocolate uh, Christmas. I'm going to make me Sunday. <laughs> I missed that. We had this little hot chocolate Christmas hot chocolate. And it was good. And we both thought it was a good idea. Why didn't we think of this every day before mm -hmm. Christmas? Maybe next year we'll do a whole week of hot chocolate days. But anyhow, so if you've not had any hot chocolate, get you some hot chocolate. If you've not had anything good to eat, get you something good to eat. Um, oh, that's another thing we're going to try. Use I will... your leftovers like I do. <laughs> Yeah, you know, use these leftovers. I will try. I'm not going to make any promise. But I'm going to try to make a Christmas tea, Russian tea, whatever you want to call it. We make it every year. Uh, there's some. There's a long version of it, and it's seven cups of water. There's a lot to it. I, over the years, I've condensed it down. I make it real easy, real simple, and it tastes just as good. And we'll have that for Christmas Eve night. And I'm going to try to do some cheese balls, Mama. Uh, Mama, I've got a different cheese ball. Mama, now I want y'all to watch Mama's face. See this face. Now watch I don't it. do that. Watch that face. <laughs> Mama, I've got a new cheese ball I want to try. Oh, uh, what is it? It's a dill pickle cheese ball. Oh, no. Very wow. <laughs> That's Mama's reaction to everything. When I first bring it up, she's like, oh, no, Lord. Oh, no. Dill pickle. Mama, the concept of it is, you know the pickle rolls that I made and showed you all that we love? Mama loves them. I make them just for her. Some pickles I like, but not. Dills, you take the dill pickle spurs, you mix your cream cheese up, and you spread it on a slice of ham, put your pickle spear in there, roll it up, and then you put toothpicks in it and cut it, and you can serve it on a tray. You love those, Mama. Yeah, I do. So like I'm going to turn that into a cheese ball. I saw it. And so I was talking about, I said, dill pickle cheese ball. I kind of reacted like you did. I don't think I would like that. Either. I think I would love it because, you know, it's it's the it's the pickle spear roll-ups and you put the ham and everything with it. I mean, really, it's just like, it's like turning the pickle, dill pickle spears into a casserole. Oh, I'd have to taste it and see. Well, we're going to try it. I I've would want a mind. lot of dill pickles in it, though. Mama... Don't start critiquing it before I even make it. <laughs> I don't know if it sounds that great. <laughs> Mama is hard to convince of change. She don't like it. No, I don't. But she will conform to it usually, won't you, Mama? I mean, if she likes it, she'll take it. Dill pickle cheese. Dill pickle cheese ball, folks. Get you some dill pickles. I'm going to use some everything bagel seasoning in it. And I don't know what else we might throw in that cream cheese just to make it really good. I like, uh, what is it I like? Sweet, pip sweet pickle relish. Sweet pickle what relish. What is it I like? I don't know, Mama. The cheese ball. It ain't sweet. Oh, you, you like... Um, sweet pepper relish. 
pepper relish. She likes, uh, we used to get hair and dagoods, but you can, I've got some uh, sweet jelly, pepper jelly, sweet pepper jelly relish. Mama likes that. And ball. I don't like sweet. I mean, I don't eat peppers, but I like that. That's one of those things she went, I don't know. I don't want, I wouldn't want that thing. And I made it and it stirred it up and I put it in a cheese ball, put it in the refrigerator, let it chill. Got a cracker out and I see her mama trying and she said, Oh no, I ain't eating that. I don't want that. <laughs> it's really good. I like it. And she really likes it. So every year she'll say, well, You going to make one of them sweet pepper uh, cheese balls? And I'll say, Yeah, mama, I'll make you one. And I'll tell you something else I do. Sometimes when I don't go through the, all the trouble with it. I'll just get a cake of cream cheese. You all can do this too. Just get a cake of cream cheese, put it on a saucer, and I just pour the uh, sweet pepper relish over top of it, let it sit in the refrigerator, and you just cut through it, put it on a cracker. You like yeah. it that way too, Mama. Yeah. What I normally do, instead of taking a whole cake of cream cheese, I will cut it down the middle, and I'll make two of them so you have more surface area in the cream cheese and the red pepper jelly covers the whole thing. Sometimes I'll do that cut too and I'll put two different kinds of jelly. Uh, you know, maybe put uh, raspberry or something on the other one. It's good that way too. So, just however you want to do it. Uh, but just depending on what you got going on. You know. And I make it's probably smaller portions than usual but you can double them, triple them, whatever you want to do. I have made quadruple cheese balls before. When we had a big crowd, and I've had, I have made um, little baseball size ones before too, and just use a half of stuff. So, however you want to do it, it works out. I don't have a half in two or three different varieties when there's just two of us, unless we have family over. Well, we'll have family. We'll have a little company this time, Mama. We will. Okay. Yeah, for. Christmas Eve. Oh, Christmas Eve, yeah. I don't New Year's. So I'll probably do the cheese balls and the Christmas tea or Russian tea on Christmas Eve is when we used to have it. Mm -hmm. For the Christmas tea or Russian tea, whatever you want to call it, it takes tea and we just, I use it as use Lipton's and make a run of tea or I'll put my water in the kill and put the tea bags in it, let them uh, make the tea and then take the tea bags out and I put uh, orange juice apple juice pineapple juice and sugar but we may try it with a little stevia this year <laughs> we may try that I don't drink it much every day. and then I take usually put powdered cinnamon wrap it up in something and let it soak in there or I have just sprinkled some in there but it kind of makes it a little you get that cinnamon in there, but it's not bad. But I will. I like to put it in something. I've got some of those little tea tea things that you stick it I in. I think you got some fresh cinnamon sticks already this year. I did get some cinnamon sticks. The cinnamon sticks are good if you make it the day before and let it boil good. If you're going to make it that day, you know, if you let it steep long enough, it, the cinnamon gets to it. But sometimes it don't. So I put I'll put those in a little bit of cheesecloth or in some kind of strainer and then I'll put the cinnamon in there and let it just set it set there and then pull that out. And then you put lemon, fresh lemon, or I'll use Minute Maid in it, Minute Maid lemon, frozen lemon. Uh, you put your uh, lemon juice in there too and it's delicious. Y'all probably, some of y'all, it's an old, old recipe so many of you will probably have, have fixed that. Rochester, New York. Elizabeth, I love, thank you all, thank you Elizabeth. Um, Rochester, I love New York. We went to New York years ago, and uh, we tried to see it all in about a week, and it was, oh, it was tired. West Virginia. Is that Janie Thompson? I'm sorry, I didn't get your whole name. Um, but that's what we're going to be up to, and uh, just going to relax a little bit, look at the trees a little bit, enjoy a little bit, and uh, just have a good time. Enjoy. Enjoy every day. We don't. We don't know that tomorrow's coming. Be uh, eating. Eat, eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow may not come. Yeah. I don't know if that's all that that like that. <laughs> Well, folks, I'm gonna eat some more of this uh, beef stew that Mama's made. Mama's got a fancy on the table, and my camera's getting caught up in it. I use it as slides. Uh -huh. um, she's got this table runner. Christmas. It's pretty, Mama. It is. It's just, just a camera frame. Yes, ma'am. 
I was trying to get it closer, Mama, so you could say goodbye. Oh, I can say <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye, Mama, and God bless you and so. Folks, Bye -bye. thank you so much for joining us tonight, and thank you all for being a part of everything. We'll be on here in the next few days. I'll, we'll probably do some live. Some things we'll have to cook, and we'll have to film and video and upload it. But I'll try to give you a heads up if we're going to go live. And uh, if not, if um, if we just pop on, I'll give you a, a few seconds notice maybe. But anyhow, y'all have a great night. Find you something good to eat. Get prepared to have an enjoyable few days here. I know a lot of people are suffering and a lot of people are uh, have lost loved ones. And we don't want to forget about y'all. And we know... Uh, we've been there. We know what that is. And uh, we're going to say special prayers. But as much as you can, uh, try to find a way to uh, have a positive memory and celebrate the birth of Jesus. It won't be the same, but, uh, you know, we, we'll be praying for y'all and just try to stay as focused on the activities as much as you can. And, you know, remember the loved ones. We still... Um, we still have difficult times during the holidays with dad's passing and it's been five, one on five years. I mean, we all do. Um, but, uh, try to, try not to get too down with it. Try to just pray through it. Remember some good times and, um, do the best you can and, and just pray and other people will be praying for you. We always remember folks that have lost loved ones in the year and, uh, just try to, try to wait to the you know see it through because it, it is hard it is hard um and it doesn't get easier sometimes but to uh, just pray for one another and uh, remember the good times remember the positive things and uh keep on keeping on so folks we're gonna go mama say good night Second night, Mama. Well, that was, that was two or three Southern goodbyes ago. You are talking to me. Yes, ma'am. She said to hush. I'm going to go. Y'all have a great night. Bye. <laughs>